An arrest in the deadly shooting of a pregnant woman in Lawrence County. Tonight, an 11-year-old boy is in custody. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us. I'm David Highfield. Stephanie Watson has the night off. Police say the boy is the son of the woman's live-in boyfriend. He's now in jail and going to be tried as an adult. KDK's David Hall is live now with the latest on this force. What can you tell us, David? 11-year-old Jordan Brown was charged this morning, and as of right now, he's being held in the Lawrence County Jail. As for police, they can't believe that the first two murders of this year in this county come at the hands of a child. It's been just over a day, and the new Beaver Borough community is still beside themselves after a young boy is arrested for killing a 26-year-old expecting woman. This is something that, that you wouldn't even think of in your worst nightmare that you'd have to charge an 11-year-old with the homicide of a 27-year-old pregnant woman. Police held a press conference to discuss the details in this investigation. They say 26-year-old Kenzie Houck was at home after 7 o'clock Friday morning with her 7- and 4-year-old daughters and her boyfriend, Christopher Brown's 11-year-old son, Jordan Brown. Police say sometime between 7 and 9 o'clock in the morning was when Brown shot Houck with his own hunting 20-gauge gun in the back of her head from point-blank range in her bedroom. What is believed to be the murder weapon was found in the house uh, in the boys' room. Police say Houck's four-year-old daughter found the body and alerted some tree trimmers who were working near the house. They called police. Police were able to rule out the boyfriend and ex-boyfriend and later caught up with Houck's seven-year-old daughter and Jordan Brown, who had caught the bus to school after the shooting. State police showed up at the school and took Brown and the seven-year-old from school for questioning. Brown's story changed a few times, and the seven-year-old explained what she heard. Mother's daughter, a seven-year-old, um, has uh, implicated him. Uh, she's not an actual eyewitness, but um, her statement, we believe, is, is very credible. Police tried to save the woman's life, but to no avail. Neighbor Michael Myers, who lives near the 1100 block of Wampum New Galilee Road, which is where the crime scene is, and he used to take his kids to the same bus stop as Hauk, can't believe police say it's an 11-year-old who pulled the trigger. It's, 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 it's amazing. I, I mean, I can't even believe it. I mean, I mean, how anybody could sit there and do something like that is just beyond me. And it's beyond police comprehension as well. And it's tragic because a woman lost her life, the baby lost her life, and, and you have an 11-year-old that's while on track of spending the rest of his life in jail. Now, the preliminary hearing is set for Thursday, and as of right now, there's no word on Brown's mental state, whether or not he was abused, or his relationship with Houck. And police are still investigating. Reporting live from downtown, David Hall, KDKA-TV News.